Hurricane Ida hit Louisiana as a 150 mile per hour category four hurricane. It is now tied for the strongest storm to ever make landfall in that state. And it did so on the 16th anniversary of Hurricane Katrina. Joining us now is Cynthia Lee Shang, president of Jefferson Parish. Uh, president Shang, thank you for being with us. And, and you've called this, and understandably so, a worse case scenario. So if you can give us a sense of what the situation's like there on the ground. Well, I'll talk to you about our lower lying areas of Jefferson Parish. Um, Grand Isle is the southernmost um, section of our parish. It is the community that is right at the Gulf of Mexico. We lost contact with them yesterday afternoon and we still have not made contact with them. Uh, mayor Carmadell is the mayor of that city down there. Uh, I was able to speak with him Saturday night. He estimated that there were about 40 people on the island riding out that storm that didn't evacuate, mm. including some firefighters. So certainly our prayers are with them. We know it was a very difficult uh, night. You know, it was complete darkness. So um, very harrowing, very frightening situations that we're dealing with there. Yeah, what, what are um, your... The other area... Go, I'm I, sorry, go ahead. No, I was just going to ask you what your biggest concerns are right now. The biggest concern is getting to Grand Isle, reaching them, seeing what, what the status is of, of them, you know, the 40 people down there. In other areas um, in Jefferson Parish called Lafitte, um, the town of Jean Lafitte, um, we have uh, got word yesterday that there were um, rising water. So we mm. know that there were people in attics. So we have a very extensive um, search and rescue with our first responder team getting down there. It is a little bit difficult to get down there if you want to think of it as sort of you know, swampland a little bit, but a lot of people down there were, were estimating a couple hundred. Um, so uh, an extensive um, search and rescue team is going on by many first responder agencies. Yeah, obviously the biggest concern is protecting life and search and rescue is the number one priority right now, but also Jefferson Parish, we should mention, is without power, without water. Any idea when those services could be restored? So in addition to search and rescue being the priority today, the other priority for us is maintaining the water system. We have a lot of water main breaks, so we're clearing roadways to fix those water breaks. Obviously, a low, the low pressure, we did a boil water advisory. Um, we, I might have to do another boil water, a water advisory for a different section of our community, but we need, we need to have water. Our hospitals need water. So that is an, another very critical situation that we're trying to get on top of and improve that situation as much as possible. And of course, we don't have communication down here. Um, you know, we're without electricity. We're, sometimes we can text, other times we can't mm. call each other. That is making it very difficult as well. Yeah, and, and speaking of those communication difficulties, reportedly some of the 911 systems in your region are not uh, working well or at least reporting some technical difficulties. And obviously, as those search and rescue operations are going on, you may have people stranded trying to get help. What's your advice for anyone who's maybe experiencing that situation? I'm hearing that there may be trouble getting into 911. Obviously, you know, our systems are so fragile. Um, they can also try to call 504-349-5360. Um, but we have teams, we have um, first responders all over the parish checking on things and, and looking out. We have all of our teams out. So um, hopefully, you know, we will be able to get to them as soon as possible. But we know the areas where it's very critical in terms of rising water, and we definitely have um, all of our resources there in terms of boats going in and out of that community doing search and rescue. Yeah, and speaking of that rising water, obviously it was 16 years ago that Louisiana's levee system was overpowered by Katrina. And now we're hearing from uh, Governor John uh, Bell Edwards saying uh, that the models are saying that those levees are going to hold, but this is obviously going to be the biggest test since 16 years ago. What's your level of confidence? Up here, our buildings stayed intact and our levee system stayed intact. So up here in the greater New Orleans area, our issue is a breakdown of systems. Like I talked about water, you know, electricity, communication. Um, we're also dealing with rising water in Lafitte. So in terms mm. of the infrastructure of the levee system, um, they may have been over top in Lafitte, which means just the water was taller than the levee system, but they were not broken. Cynthia, what, if anything, do you need right now or what do you need the most from the federal government at this time? Um, we're going to need delivery of water services. We're going to need help probably with evacuations. Um, our we're in communication with our hospital systems. They're going to probably want to get some of their more critical patients out. So we're going to have to get our most vulnerable people out of here. 
Um, and and that is going to be the need that we're going to that we're going to need outside help from. Well, we we know you are so busy uh, trying to tend to all of these different needs right now, and our and our hearts are with you. It is heartbreaking seeing what's happening there, what what uh, Ida has done to your area. But thank you for your time and expressing your needs, and we hope you get the help you deserve. President Cynthia Lee Shang of Jefferson Parish, be well and thank you. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.